In 2001, John and I were introduced to Father Mark Massa and the Center of American Catholic Studies at Fordham. After spending time with Father Massa and hearing his plans and vision for the center, we agreed that supporting the center would be a wonderful way not only to give back to the university, but also a way to invest in the future of Fordham students and its Catholic Jesuit educational mission. What makes Fordham distinctive is its long-standing, passionate pursuit of a Catholic Jesuit educational mission. The current Center of American Catholic Studies is a key steward of that mission. The Kern Center is a wonderful collection of people who are dedicated to creating a very vibrant concentration for undergraduates. The undergraduate concentration is of a real advantage to our students because it gives them an angle on American religious history that they might not get otherwise. We have specific courses specific to the program. They receive scholarship funds. They are exposed to cultural events. I also think it, it provides a place where people seeking smart answers to questions about Catholicism can go. When you're an undergrad, you have so many distractions, you have so many things that you can get involved in and completely miss, and I think the beauty of the Kern Center is that they're rooting for you. They want you to succeed, and they provide the resources to help you do that. Reflecting on what the, the center is, the academic piece, there's a, a service expectation, um, there's mentorship and advising that comes out of the center, but I think what's most significant is, is the community that the center fosters. By contributing to the center, we are contributing to the continuation of the core identity of Fordham University. In 2001, the then president of Fordham University, Joe Hare, asked me to consider starting a Catholic Studies Center for Fordham. So we had been talking about starting a place that would be a hub for a bunch of things that would look at Catholic identity. And in 2004, John and Connie Curran came to see me and said that he and his wife Connie would be very interested in endowing the center and enabling us to expand our outreach. I had the pleasure of sitting next to them at one of the meals. To be able to talk to them and to thank them in person, they made my college experience. And for that, I'm forever grateful. We see ourselves at the heart of the mission of the university and also as a particular place that is anchoring that identity that's so central to Fordham. The Kern Center helps students explore the intersection between faith and culture, and it allows you to see the ways in which faith has really influenced a lot of people. I think it really inspires people to really consider just how present faith is in the larger culture. The Current Center is actually a hub for many different kinds of events and programming. It's faculty seminars, there are public lectures, there are big public conferences having to do with hot button issues in the church, and it does a great job of servicing among Fordham's most talented undergraduates. We firmly believe that our students' orientation and the way in which they they choose to engage the world is changed or shaped by the experience that they have here for two and a half years. The, I think the best resources were, were the people, the, the professors I had. Having Father Massa as a mentor changed my life. It changed my career as a Fordham student. It led to, to internships, with led, which led to other jobs, which led to law school, and, and I'm about to launch my career as a trial attorney. You know, and, and I trace so much of that directly back to my experience as a Catholic Studies concentrator. So it's really impressive what a young person can accomplish by just being determined, being passionate about what they believe in and what they, they want to do. And this is something that gives us hope for a good future, a good world. John and I have been thrilled and amazed to see how the Center has thrived and grown over the past decade. And we hope that our support will encourage others to help ensure its continued vitality and success into the future.